Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Adama Owagame. It's so nice to have you here once again. So, I've been asked, a lot of people have asked me this question. I want to come to Korea. How do I come to Korea? I want to come to Korea. So today, okay, I want to talk about ways you can come to Korea. As my audience are Nigerians or Africans, I will be tailoring my video towards those audience, Nigerians and Africans. So I will share with you three basic ways that I know of that you can come to Korea. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Okay, number one way that I know of, and for me, this is the easiest way to come to Korea, is through the student visa. Yeah, and I know many people don't want to hear this, but that's the truth. This is the easiest way to come. And for me, even though it's the easiest, the, sh the most assured way is through um, a scholarship, a student scholarship. So if you're coming through um, the Korean government scholarship, it is now known, the, it's now known as the GKS, Global they changed the name recently so I, that's the most popular way people come to korea through scholarship through korean government scholarship there are other scholarships like professor scholarship college scholarship and the rest of it but that's not today that's not what i'm talking about so i'm just going to talk about the three ways so i said month student visa at the d2 visa and so it, you if why you want to come with scholarship is because if you're coming as a self-sponsored student you need to have a certain amount of money in your bank account as your bank statement and i think it's close to more than between i'm not so sure but between ten thousand dollars to fifteen thousand dollars so that's the range you should have as your bank statement for self-sponsored uh, students if I'm wrong, please correct me, but I think that's the range. And why you need that amount of money is because when you come to Korea with a student visa for six months, you are not allowed to work. And after six months, you're off probation. You can now start working, but there is a clause. Now, in Korea, you know, in like other part of the world, like in Canada and the US, you, um, you're you allowed to work 20 hours. You know, it's normal. You, you just, you, everybody knows it. 20 hours per week and then uh, when it's holiday seasons you have like 40 hours right but in korea you have to apply um to your department or to your school that with your d2 visa you want to have a part-time job that's it you have to apply for a part-time job and it's illegal to have a part-time job without applying for it on your d2 visa yes and if you are caught <clears throat> the rest is history so anyway and working on a part-time job in korea is not is not much it's not it's not like it's not like that whole uh, a big sum of money that you know you're crazy about so um for me that's the first and most legit way now why i i always advise people come to scholarship because when you come to scholarship the whatever scholarship you come through come through um you, you get paid a stipend so let's say you're coming with the korean government scholarship so every month you're at least a thousand dollars i think it used to be like um 850 to nine hundred dollars for stipend but i think they increased this recently i'm not too sure but that's it you get paid a stipend every month so that's one of the reasons why i encourage people to come through scholarship number two way you can come to korea is through a working visa and this one you need to have a company who will sponsor you to come to Korea. So the company should be able to prove that whatever you're coming to do in Korea, a Korean cannot do it or they cannot find anyone in Korea to do that. They have to bring someone out. They have to import someone to do it. So you have to, you can, people get jobs through LinkedIn, you know, um, there's another site. I can't remember now. People get, people check for jobs on those sites. So, if you if a company you're lucky a company sees you qualified and trust your work and wants to bring you in to work with them that's one way to come to korea working visa and 
Now, I'm not sure where to place this. That's a working visa or a student visa, but there are people who come as researchers. So you, are still, you're still you're in the academics, but it's like a working visa. Yeah, kind of you come as a postdoctor, a student, or a researcher. You know that range. Um, I think it's still a working visa. Yeah, it's still a working visa. It's still a working visa that because it's e something. It's still a working visa. So if you're in the academics, you could come with that kind of visa to Korea. That's the second way. Now the third way, which I would advise anyone to come with is a tourist visa this is the third way you just want to come you have some money you want to spend you want to look around korea by all means please do so so that's the third the tourist visa a c3 visa and it's um for just 90 days but if there are other you, it's it could be extended but it cannot be changed is um a visa visa cannot be changed if you come to korea with a visa visa you are going to leave Korea with a visa visa. If you want to change your visa, you have to go back to your country where who, that issued you that visa visa and apply for the appropriate visa you need to um, come into Korea with. Yeah. So I these are the three ways you can come through to Korea that I know of. Um, I the fourth one is not applicable. But I just thought to mention it. It's not applicable to people from Africa or Nigeria. It's through a working holiday visa. So there are many people who, I think Australia, those several countries, Australia, Canada, America also, they can come into Korea with a working holiday visa. I think France is about a bit. So uh, this, this visa allows them, even though it's a holiday, they are able to get jobs. But there are certain kind of jobs they cannot get with that kind of visa. So a working holiday visa is another way people come into Korea just, you know, work and leave so um in the next video i'm going to talk about the specific visas that you can apply for as um a nigerian or an african coming to korea so i hope this video has helped someone here you have been able to understand understand now ways and start making plans so start putting setting your house in order um you know looking for ways to come to korea so if you, if there are the kind of video you want me to make, please leave them in the comment section. I would love to read from you. And so, till I come your way next time, keep living intentional. Bye for now.